Okay, BG Rides here. Okay. We just installed some JSR handlebars on this Vaquero. So if you want to watch how to do a handlebar swap from very unprofessional crazy guys, yeah. um, we put some JSR 12 inch apes on it and some Kiriakin handlebar grips. So kick back, have a cup of coffee and watch the show. Okay, we're gonna Inside take- Inside a foam. Here, put them on the bike. So it was like- See, we're gonna go from this. Oh, that's nice. I thought they mount on top of these. Well, we've got enough duct tape. We probably could do it. <laughs> <laughs> but the Vaquero's getting the new handlebars. We're not, uh, you're supposed to be able to do this without extended cables, right? Yes. Okay, all right. So you got- so Here's yeah. my question. We got to take these two out, these two, and the one on the bottom. There's that one on the bottom. And he said that, that these are like really soft screws. Oh, really? Yeah. So be real careful. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go at I it. I got to get a set of cheaters so I can see. Hey, All right, we're going to get serious here. This stuff's really good. Brown sugar bourbon. A little bit of that. I don't know. I'm gonna try a little bit in the coffee. Loosen it or all the it's gotta come all the way off, doesn't it? The handlebar right it's there. Okay, Did we you get that one loose? Yeah, I'm not sure. We only got two screws out, now we gotta start beating. Okay, hold that handlebar right there. Alright, make sure you got good positive contact. About as good as I can. That one's already screwed up a little bit. Camera will fix it. Did that do anything? I'm not sure. <laughs> Boy, that's scary, huh? <laughs> you got the angle right? Yeah? yeah okay. it looks like it. You sure it's turned the right way? Well, turn it, uh, try it on your concrete. Too late now. It's loose. Is it? Yeah. Shit. What yeah. about this one? Yeah, it must be loose. You get number two on it. Okay, we're taking off the grips, taking off the ends. Oh, it's plastic. Yeah. And then first take take your mirrors off. It gives you some, give you, gives you room. Get stuff out of the way. How'd you get that off of there, Brad? It just turns. It's, it's a reverse thread. Yeah, it's reverse thread, but there's no fastener on the end, so to be able to pull, to be able to get it off. Wait. Reverse. It's reverse thread. I got to go to tight, tight, tidy. Okay. It's, Come on. It, in this case, it's righty loosey. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, shit. So the bigger one's the throttle. Okay. Because it, uh, the throttle plastic piece fits over to allow it to twist. Yeah. And, that, and then this that side's metal. And uh, that bad boy's that, got rust on it already. Like, take that one. Brand new. Take that other one. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, he, did he say, oh shit, I shouldn't have got it. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Oh, no, really? Okay. Did you watch the end of it? <laughs> that opens up pretty easy, doesn't it? Well, I had to do it. Bro, I wouldn't times. put a sharp razor blade by your seat. In case it rolls <laughs> off and punctures it. Okay. That's Brad's problem. It's Brad's yeah. seat. Yeah. We don't want to take out Brad's seat already. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is a new bike. Look at that. Man. That's what it looks That's like. That's the easiest part so far. <laughs> Getting that off. These screws. These screws are seriously oh, fragile. Yeah. fragile. No, those fragile. I, I'm gonna buy all new if they have them down there. Oh, and that just comes like this. Comes right off. Huh. I'll be jiggered. See these things form right in there. And it oh, that's very cool. Ah. That's a nice design. Yeah. So now we're trying, trying to take the throttle. <laughs> I, can't, I can't reach it. Trying to take the throttle cables off. We gotta get these two. Throttle cables disconnected. I'm working on getting this apart. 
Hell, it's almost a part, guys. There's just one screw. Hold on. Okay. This is a 20 minute job. <laughs> you should have seen when we were doing the air intake and the new air filter and stuff. Oh, yes, that was. Okay, so Bradley, slide this off and this off. Wait a sec, why is that? You know what, though? Huh? Let's. I wonder if we leave that nut on. Does this come off? That's my question. Now, this whole thing stays on. Where's the... Uh... Yeah, but here's the throttle thing you're talking about right here. Here's yeah. yeah. Oh, now we need to take off those two throttle cables. They're just get like a little barrel. Screwdriver. You need a screwdriver, screwdriver? Little barrel nut things. Oh, flat you got tip. it. He's got it. Ooh. You don't need a flat tip? There's one. You want a little Phillips? No, it should be good without. These are pretty self-explanatory. Do you remember which one goes to which one? No, you can't really screw them up. <laughs> One's longer than the other. <laughs> this one goes right there, and that one here goes on the back one. And it, uh, see how it goes in like that? Maybe that chrome piece. Oh, and then it just lays in. Okay. Oh. Piece. Yeah. So you put a little lube on there. Yeah. Oh, lube. <laughs> no, that one there has to turn. Away. Okay. We got to tell you, we are not professionals. We are not. <laughs> Here's our disclaimer. Yeah. There's our disclaimer. Whatever you do, don't do what we say. Okay. <laughs> so when you put it on, um, this thing's uh, 12 o'clock. Oh, okay. Okay. The next step, we got to get these right here loosened up, and those two. Everything must. <laughs> this is a serious documentary. <laughs> they're they're on there tight. They they didn't want them to come off. <laughs> is it loose? Yeah, the Kawasaki. Okay, that one there we want to loosen now. Kawasaki. All right, we'll do we'll do this one and this one next. You think they were didn't have those? Okay, Hold these on. are some retaining clips that we got to take out too. It looks like it holds the cabling in place. I better look. But for sure, that's going to come out. Yeah, same on this side. You got these little clips here that they got to get popped out. Probably with a screwdriver. I bet you they just pop right into the handlebar. Does the new one have the holes, bro? That's what we're looking for. Nope. It gets the new hole style. It's called zip ties. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there's a guy that Yeah, we should sell them. Come and look at this thing, Brad. No, really. What? This yeah. bike? You know what he said to me? What? I'd really like to come and look at it. Well, just so you know, he goes, yeah. I said, I'm getting ready to uh, put bars on it. So. Hold on, which cover is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, one important <laughs> feature. One of the things we realized is that this cover right here that's attached by two screws here, in order to remove this, you actually have to remove the bolts and remove this cover to allow it to act like a clamshell and open up, and then it'll slide out. A lot of things are like clamshells. Oh, yes, that's very important. <laughs> we like clamshells. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Until we take out. This is the next step. Yep, these I think here. so. Pull these. So let's use that small one. Yeah, use that real small one. Otherwise, because you got to reuse this. Yes. You want that to look good. Yeah. Look and good. we don't want to lose these either, do we? No. <laughs> I have a chrome one if we do. <laughs> it's daytime, but we need to use a flashlight. <laughs> we're in the dungeon here. <laughs> no. Cheater. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. I would think a girl would take that as a compliment. Me too. Take these okay. off. The bark lamps. These are the uh, looks like a eight millimeter Allen wrench to remove. Oh, that's these so bolts. professional. People are gonna think we are so high tech when we tell them what tools to use. Go anywhere? Well, we're uh, we're we know what we're doing. Okay, this side's off, Brad. 
Oh, there's a, another attachment right here. Oh no. Oh, these come off with it. Okay. Oh, you hold it. I'll, yep. Okay, you got it. Got it. Okay, this part is definitely a two-man job right here. Let me uh, loosen these up just a little bit more. Next, you got to take off this cable that's trap. That's tightening. No, it's loosening. Oh, huh? No, it's tightening. You got to push. You push it. away. Uh, yep, yeah. I'm just testing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's left hand thread. We need, I understand. <laughs> we need more. We need more bourbon right now. <laughs> Wait a second. What was I going to get? I was going to get something else. I forget what the hell it was now. Okay, that wasn't tight. Or either Brad's super strong. Well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, he is. But basically, in the back there is a cable retaining bar. That's the very high technical name for that. That's right. <laughs> Otherwise known as a bolt. Yeah. <laughs> 10 millimeter head bolt. And that's trapping these cables. So the new bars hold the stuff too high. And you got to take that, that off so the cables have a little bit of room to sit a little higher. We'll set that up. Clean off the handlebars before you put them on. <laughs> We're doing two yeah. Why is that fucking thing? There we go. These things go on as a pair because there's an electrical wire. wire. Yeah, I got this. Oh, shit. I'll just bounce that off the... Got it? <laughs> the fairing will take yeah. it. <laughs> it's got good cushion. Yeah. A little more slack. Look at that. It fits like a glove. Ooh. Everything's loose here, so it slides on. Oh my gosh, just like butter. Like butter. I had a little lube in it. Worked up a little earlier and put on there. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of leftover? <laughs> Let's just snug them down just a little bit, Brad. All the way this way? Nothing hitting? No, nothing's hitting. It's close, but. All the way this way. Oh, delivery right here. I know. We got creamer. That's the super wife. Wow. We got coffee. No. Hockey. Oh. Ooh, careful. You know, just sit there. Yours. We'll, uh, we can handle pouring our own coffee. Okay. Well, thank, you. Thank, <laughs> you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that yeah. looks good. Thank you. I'm going to put some more bourbon in. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it is really good. That it brown, is. that brown sugar bourbon right there. It tastes exactly like a cinnamon roll. Have you ever tried it, Brad? No. It's just take, just Brad. take the smallest nip. Just the smallest. Okay, put a little bit in both of these. Just and a little bit. It, 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 I tell you what, it's really yeah, good. good. I'm gonna do Dan's a little too. Some, yeah. But it, seriously, it tastes just like cinnamon roll. Yep. You don't need much, man. It's Okay, we've been trying for the half an hour to get this thing back together. And we found out. I think, I think we're at about 15 minutes right now, right? 15 minutes. And this little guy right here, it's hard to see. There's a pin for. Does it show where it's been? Uh, no. Oh, we didn't have it all the way. What? It should be the, the radius should be. There's no mark. It doesn't seem like one, but that little pin's got to go in a hole. We're going to have to drill a hole into the handlebars. Okay, now, now it'll all go back together. We're hoping. Oh, do you want this to be a professional video? Better getting a chance to drill that <laughs> hole. Don't forget to drill the hole. We didn't drill the hole, and this stuff right here will not go back together unless you got a hole. Yeah, I guess you could grind so that pin off, but that's like stupid because no, that's yeah, like a, a purpose for that. There's yeah. a little tight. It it's tight. We don't like big holes. We like tight. <laughs> Come on, we're at this point. Uh, wait, wait, yeah, make sure. Yeah, that's <laughs> Okay, we did a test fit real quick, and the new grip we're gonna put on doesn't quite go on very well. It won't make it all the way up to the end, so we're doing some fancy uh, sanding, so we have no clue if this is what we're supposed to do, but we think it's gonna work. <laughs> That's one.
Okay, tell them what's going on. Okay, so when we put the grip on, we're only able to put it up to the shoulder right there. We can do one of two things. We can sand the heck out of this. Uh, we don't have a Dremel tool or something to sand it down. Or we can take <laughs> a little bit that? of the <laughs> Or we can take these, we can lay them down. And then I did is I cut the lip off right there, which is this remainder. Still don't think we're gonna have enough. I don't either. You have to cut that back more. And we're you doing this. cut it back more than we're this. We're doing this on our on our workbench. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, plus once it dries too. That lube characteristic will be gone. Yeah. Kind of like when you're just doing it, you know, the lube wears out and it's raw. But you still go, man. You just keep going, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't mean you stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be way home, Brad. Workbench. Hold on. We got our workbench here. We don't want to cut our workbench. <laughs> I think you made we it. We got the vise. The vise. <laughs> oh, the... oh, that's perfect. Fuck, you never thought it would look so good, huh? We got to deburr that bad boy. <laughs> Hold on, I got my deburr kit too. <laughs> it's empty. Oh, it's air. <laughs> oh. uh, you have super glue? That's Black Widow super glue right there. <laughs> okay, we're going to do something crazy here. We don't know. We're not condoning this, so don't do this. But we're using hairspray because we don't This is what have... we used to use for BMX and... Uh, quads, motorcycles, all that stuff. But it says to use real adhesive, so... It's a really tight fit anyway. Yeah. Holy Toledo. Go for it. Make sure you line that up. Brian like will that? be critiquing that thing. We're trying to line it up with the other grip. A little so. bit more, right about there. Okay. Perfect. Wow. And when hair, when hairspray dries, it locks it in. You know what else is really down here, lightly, but with these underneath and the yeah. wires on top. These are nice Kiryakin grips. They look like they're going to be very comfortable. Yeah, a little they, bit bigger diameter too. They have their rubber pads there. Yeah. Okay, last thing is to put the mirrors back on. Make sure you cross thread them. <laughs> They're not going in smooth, <laughs> just force them. <laughs> Make sure you get them on the right side. Sometimes you have to use both hands to get them things to start. <laughs> there is a left and a right hand mirror. <laughs> oh, I think we do. Is that right? That's perfect. There you go. Lined up. <laughs> oh yeah, we got the caps back in. Got those in. Now it's just left. It's just putting zip ties on, kind of cleaning up that. But you should start it up and make sure it all works. Yeah, we got to make sure we can see in our mirrors. My God, you actually can kind of see a little bit now, actually. You're going to be sitting up like this, yeah. yeah. Tighten this one here. They come out a little more. Yeah, that looks a lot better. It does. Put those Doesn't that? On. Oh Let's yeah, see. that just Put some highway off. pegs. And then she's ready. The black. Let's see. Make sure it's in gear. Yep. No, I like to just stop. It. 